Welcome back guys to episode 227 of Summertime Saga. This is MissKitty2K and I just downloaded the new version of Summertime Saga. And this is the warning you get as you start and um, load the last patch you've been playing. The save could not be loaded normally. An attempt has been made to recover it so that play may be continued. However, we may experience unexpected behavior. Regrettably, if problems persist, you may need to try a different save. Don't forget to check out the saves or begin a new game. <clears throat> I hope not. You don't say! Completely naked? Ha! That's exactly what Luigi would say. She's got this temper, that's for sure. Ah, oh, crap, I gotta go. I guess I had already done this part. Wait a second, guys. So I ju just checked and yeah. We arrived more or less here in the... The only <coughs> solution is sperm donation. Anyway, turns out Eddie got caught with his forefinger hand in the wrong cookie jar. They got him serving a ten stretch upstate. Ten stretch? He's in prison, champ. Prison? That's not good. How are we supposed to get them the info from him? So we have to pay him a visit and drive till there. And we take care from him, remember? Yeah. So this part we have already read it. Okay. Mm hmm yeah so yeah she's being emotional and she's um, suffering from it Maria uh, ain't too happy of the idea neither am I really to be honest I'm not even sure we can, we can afford it yeah so from this point on maybe I could help hmm? I mean I've got money eh nah I appreciate it champ but we don't want you doing that really I don't mind there might be something else you could do to help us. Yeah, of course. Anything you need, just tell me. I'm not sure to get you into it yet. Maybe he wants some back from visiting Eddie, huh? Sure. In the meantime, let's just focus on business as usual. You got it, boss. Thanks, champ. You don't say. Okay, again, like that. This is a bug, of course. Okay. Mm, skip. All right, yeah, so let me just check. Wow, that blows. Tony and Maria will be great parents, and I hope Eddie can give us a, a lead. I wonder how Jess is doing. I should probably drop by for a visit, so I'm gonna see if Jess is there and what she's doing. Yeah. Hmm. Is that Mayor Rump? What is he doing here? Oh, most definitely. The wife's been very pleased with it. It's a quality machine, to be sure. That's good to know, to hear, Mr. Rump. I can't tell you how much we appreciate your business. Oh, you can show our appreciation with this fall, your vote. Of course, sir. You can count on me. That's what I like to hear, Mr. Sado. You know, this is the guy you should really be thanking. He's quite a salesman. Oh, you too kind, Mr. Mayor. Please, Kimmy, call me Ronald. Anywhere, Ronald. I wonder if you'd give me a moment alone with my new friend here, Mr. Sato. Oh, certainly, sir. I'll be just right over here at the front desk. Should you require anything? Thanks. Come, we go to the parking garage. More private. Hmm? The mayor is friends with Kim? Something is fish is going on there. And what is Josephine? I should investigate. Oh really? Like, seriously? No, don't tell me I have a game to start from that point. No, fuck. You want to tell me why I'm getting phone calls from my associate saying you disrespected his daughter? Mm -hmm. He says she came in here the other day looking to purchase a car and you wouldn't help her. That's not true. I tell her she want custom car. I must take order. Take a couple of weeks before I come. Yes, but he says you are very rude to her. Tch, she big baby. Throw tantrum in store. I don't have time for changing Ritter and keep the gear diapers. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is not a loving matter, Kim. My associate is a very serious man and he does not respond well to the disrespect. Sorry, guys. I feel a bit tired today. Just can't wait properly. It have sent men here to to do you harm, and I not stepped in. What? They threaten Kim? 
You're lucky you've proven yourself to be a valuable asset thus far, but I'm warning you now, you are far from irreplaceable. Do you understand? Yes, yes, Kim understand. I mean no disrespect. The girl will be returning here next week and you will have a car waiting for her, along with an apology. Do I make myself clear? Yes, of course, Mr. Rump. Keep prepared car and make big time apology. Very good. Now that's settled. I'd like to speak with you about some growing needs of our enterprise here in summer. Why don't you swing by my estate later this evening and we'll discuss the details, huh? Bring that beautiful wife of yours along. We'll all go for a dip into the hot tub. Will Mrs. Rump be joining us? Most definitely. Oh, Kim Reich, son of that. We come. Wonderful. I'll let my guards know you're expected. Oh, one more thing. Hmm? Gather up any paperwork your boss has on your dealings over the past 12 months and dispose of them. Things are going to be heating up very soon and I w don't want paper trail. Yes, of course. Records upstairs in office. Kim, dear with them. Don't let me know, Kim. Never, Mr. Rump. Mm, it's possible that Mayor Rump is doing business with the Russian mob. It certainly sounds that way from the conversation I just overheard. I should head upstairs to the office and see about finding that paperwork they were discussing. Yeah, so before he is going to do that, I'm going to do that. All right. Miss Kitty, what are you doing here? Looking for you. Ah, uh, did you come to rescue me? Huh? Rescue you? My stupid father took my phone again and refuses to return it until all the paperwork is in this filing cabinet is sorted. What's so hard about that? He wants it organized by date, manufacturer, model number, color, and customer information. Okay, that's a law, but still doable, doable. Yeah, but look at the size of this thing. I'm gonna be stuck here forever. Huh, no, you won't. Huh? Come on, I'll help you. Really? Yeah, why not? You saved me a ton of money on those cars I needed, and maybe I'll find some useful information. I doubt it. It's just a bunch of dumb car paperwork. I bet the receipts from the cars the Russians purchased are in there. There might be even a dress or some banking information. Why do you care so much about these Russians? Uh, it's a long story. Well, it's not like I have anything else to do. Spill it. Oh, alright, but work and listen at the same time, yeah? Ah, uh, fine. I spent the next few hours organizing the dealership's receipts as Josephine saw nearby, doing everything she could think to avoid work. It didn't really bother me, though. She may have been a terrible war partner, but she was a surprisingly attentive audience. Offering condolences as my father death and gasping when I told her about the constant harassment from the Russian mafia. So this Tony guy is just helping you out of the goodness of this heart? Yeah, so far. Hmm, sounds fishy to me. He wants something from you, I bet. No, I don't think he wants anything from me. That is just a nice guy. Yeah, a nice ex-convict with mafia connections. I'm sure that's totally the case. Heh, <laughs> it's true. You're so naive. Hey, wait a second. This receipt has my dad's name on it. And so does this one. Oh shit, all of these receipts have his name on them. This one this did is just a few weeks before he died. He bought five Abraham, Abraham Town cars for $375. That's gonna be one of the Russian receipts. They always buy fancy black cars in bulk like that. But, but that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so I'll get comfortable as well, so I hope you enjoyed this episode and sorry for some noises, but I have a um, new neighbor that is just trying to put on some needles and fix him some, <laughs> I don't know, paintings on the wall and stuff, and so yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.